And the truth is you really shouldn't be paying attention to the daily numbers every single day because your weight is going to fluctuate not only throughout the day, but also throughout the week. So what you want to do is if you are going to be weighing yourself daily, you want to take a look at the seven day average and see, is it trending in a downward direction? Because Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of Carnivore Q&A. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today's question comes from a carnivore diet for beginner group on Facebook where a member had recently asked, I need advice. I am two weeks into carnivore, doing great. I was down 9.6 pounds. I jumped on the scale this morning, hoping to be at the 10 pound mark and I gained 2.4 pounds. I haven't changed a whole lot other than me adding sausage to my meals. Help me please. Well, with regard to this, a lot of people are going to look at the scale and they're going to freak out when they see the number that go, go up. And the truth is you really shouldn't be paying attention to the daily numbers every single day because your weight is going to fluctuate not only throughout the day, but also throughout the week. So what you want to do is if you are going to be weighing yourself daily, you want to take Take a look at the seven day average and see is it trending in a downward direction because as long as it's trending downward that's going to be the important thing the other thing worth noting with regard to weight is just looking at the weight by itself without looking at any other metrics really is not that useful because at the end of the day weight and fat are two completely different things so your weight could go up but just because your weight goes up it doesn't necessarily mean that the amount of fat that you have on your body has gone up so instead of just looking at the weight you should have some other metrics to go by as well things like circumferential measurements so take some tape measurements and see what the different girth measurements are for all the different areas of your body. You could also do skin fold assessments. If you want to take a look at a skin fold method that I ended up doing last year, taught you guys how to do skin folds on yourself. I'll include a link right up over here to the video, but skin folds, that's going to tell you what your body fat percentage is. And overall, if your weight is going up, but your body fat percentage is going down, then you know, your body fat percentage is going down. So it's really not going to be something to be too concerned about. So overall, that would be my recommendation to you. Don't just look at the weight because the weight by itself really isn't that telling to what exactly is going on. You should go based off of circumferential measurements and also your body fat percentage as well. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I could help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.